what are the lies that you've chosen to believe about yourself and have been creating out of that are no longer serving you? This is the question that has kept coming up over and over and over again as I connected into the collective consciousness this morning to download the information, the guidance, the wisdom, the love, and the strategies for us to work with this week. Welcome to this week's Frequency Intel. I am Kimberly Pence Light, and each week I tap into the collective consciousness and read the frequencies and energies that we're working with. I read the benevolent frequencies and the not so uh, gentle frequencies that we're working with to transform and transcend and shift into this new paradigm. And the theme that is coming up for us to work with is there are accelerated timelines of letting go right now. We are in a hugely accelerated timeline of letting go, letting go of the lies that we've told ourselves, that we've chosen to believe that others have told us about ourselves. And this is fundamental and paramount to us being able to move into new ways of creating and new strategies and structures and paradigms for us to create a world that we actually all want to live in. And so the frequencies that are really here to support us, the benevolent frequencies that are here to support us, is the frequency of release. The frequency of release requires surrender. And it requires the frequency of willingness. I am willing to see what I have been hiding from, what I have been denying about myself. I am willing to see myself in a new way. I'm willing to see the truth of who I am. And to bring passion, to bring the energy of passion and pleasure to the work of transformation, of self-awareness, and the work that we're doing to change the paradigm and the structures of earth that we've been living through and that are no longer beneficial to us. So this is really tied into our belief systems. Our belief systems are everything because what we believe, we create. What we believe about ourselves, we continually create from. And so the ask this week, the ask at this time is to begin to release the lies that you've been telling yourself about yourself and others. And I keep getting this incredible image um, of support that is actually here, that is happening from our true selves, our oversoul, our monad, our mother soul, um, the part of us that is non-physical. And the, the image that I am being shown, that I've been shown for the past few days and that I keep being shown is this beautiful image of a a layer of density that is like jelly and a, this beautiful human being that is encased in this layer of jelly that is mucky it's dense it's it's um thick it's sticky it is it feels toxic this layer of gel that we've encased ourselves in and it almost feels rigidified to the point where we're not even sure that um, we can get out of it and 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 the truth is is that we believe that we are we this is just the reality that we live in there's a belief that there is no other reality and there is this is just the the way life is and that layer of gel is 
is uh, actually permeable. It is the amnesia of forgetting who we truly are and believing that we are that disempowered self that only has so much power, that only has so much energy, that only has so much influence, that only has so much creativity to tap into and ability to to live out our fullest potential and our our dreams and our our longings and the image that is really present is a being this beautiful luminous self this over soul aspect of ourselves reaching down in through that layer of gel and taking us by the shoulders and pulling us up out of that muck, out of the, the amnesia, out of the stickiness, the density, the, the, um, this, this ick is the only way I can describe it. And as we're pulled up and out of that layer of density, we actually begin, our bodies actually begin to transform and transmute back into our luminous bodies, back into our true nature. And so the approach to this work that is being asked of us, and I'll go into more of this work, what, what, what is actually being asked to us, but I, I want to emphasize that the approach to this work is to bring softness and gentleness and a, 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 a beautiful, caring, nurturing. One of the messages that came through very clearly was to tend to our basic needs, to make sure that that is a priority right now, that our basic needs are being met and we are meeting our basic needs. So this reorientation that we're going through, this this big, huge transformation that we're going through. There's, there's no softening the, the, what we're actually going through and what I'm feeling really guided to share with everyone is this, this coming back home to ourselves. This is intense work. There is no getting around that. Everyone I know, everyone on the planet is going through really, really intense self-evaluation, self-examination, and it needs to be held in a layer of love, of heart energy, of softness, of compassion, of mercy, of, of gentleness, and asking for support, asking for help, asking for guidance, and connecting to, the, to our teams of light, to the angels, to the beings of light who love us unconditionally, and saying the, the most profound prayer that I know of, help. And so how this is expressing, it, it's expressing in a number of ways um, for different people. So it can be this, this intensity, this, this accelerated timeline. It feels like an energy that is unstoppable. And it is. It is an energy that is completely unstoppable because we are being required to remember our greatness, to remember our beauty, to remember our worthiness, to remember our our, our our wholeness and this is this is strong work and so how it's showing up in a number of ways is tension in the body this reorientation is bringing up what we're holding at a cellular level in our bodies and that can be experienced as a great deal of tension or discomfort or dis-ease in the body and the way to really work with this is to work with the energy of release, to work with the energy of surrender and softening, and to actually recognize 
what is going on in your body at this time. If you have physical symptoms happening with this accelerated timeline of letting go and this reorientation that we're in, the way to work with that, that um, physical uh, experience, expression of this accelerated timeline is to soften is to actually make sure that you are well fed, that you are are drinking enough water and that you're drinking a really high quality of water, a very high pH, a very mineralized water to assist your cells in releasing this density, this muck, these lies that we were told about ourselves that the consciousness has has told has been told and has been holding about humanity, about our abilities. And to soften into allowing this energy to move through you and to utilizing the practices that you've cultivated, utilizing the practice of breath work, utilizing the practice of somatic movement and release work, utilizing the practice of intention and meditation to allow this dense energy to be released from the body and to not believe the lies that there's something physically wrong with your body that is um, not healable. Because the truth is, is that anything that is going on with your physical body can be healed. Anything that is going on with your physical body can be healed. Healing is possible. And we are moving through great, great energies of healing at this time. So it may be manifesting as, as physical symptoms in your body. And a lot of that physical symptom that I'm seeing in the collective right now is just the, an enormous amount of tension and stress. So when you put something under stress, it brings up the what is being held in the cells. Just like when you squeeze an orange, orange juice comes out of the orange. So when we are being squeezed, when this tension is being applied to our, our needs, our calling to transmute the lies that we've told about ourselves, the lies that we've we've uh, ingested and believed about ourselves are coming up for release. And a lot of this is in shadow material. A lot of this is in the shadow. So, so shadow work is 100% called for right now. And if you are not a very practiced practitioner of, of self-healing and self-shadow work, I highly encourage you to reach out to a professional that can support you, a coach, a mentor, a healer um, that can support you in, in doing this shadow work, doing this release work. And so that is the first um, layer uh, of experience that we can be experiencing. The next layer of experience that I'm really seeing in the collective uh, is this: um, these externalized experiences that are that are bringing to our awareness the lies that we've been telling about ourselves, the lies that we've chosen to believe and create out of. And so so the 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 fundamental lies at the core of what they are and they can have many 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 iterations because the brain loves to hold us in weakness in um, in our disempowered state that we've been living out of, in that gel, in that, that configuration of being trapped in the third dimensional matrix of lack, of limitation, of believing that we are not enough. That is the first fundamental lie that most of us hold in our awareness, that most of us hold in our subconscious mind, most of us hold this lie that we believe is fundamentally true. I am not enough. The second lie that we hold that is 
absolutely debilitating and keeps us paralyzed from actually taking action on our dreams, on our goals, of even giving ourselves permission to believe that we that we can achieve what it is that we desire to experience. And that is the, the, the lie, this lie, I am not worthy. That fundamental lie that we've taken on and chosen to believe about ourselves keeps us embedded in the old third dimensional structure of illness, of depletion, of exhaustion, of running to catch up, of believing that we have to prove to the world who we are, that makes us do things and say things that are not in alignment with our truth, that makes us put on masks and create identities to try to prove to ourselves that we are worthy. Or this is the other, the other flaw in this lie is it keeps us searching. It keeps us looking for trying to figure out what is wrong with us. It keeps us in the loop of, I just need to do more healing. I just need to do more healing. I just need to figure it out. I just need to be better, do better, find out what's wrong with me and fix it. That is keeping us paralyzed as a human species. This fundamental lie, I am not worthy. And the third fundamental lie that we're working with transmuting right now is I am broken beyond repair. There's something fundamentally wrong with me. This lie is so debilitating. It keeps us in perfectionism. It keeps us in all kinds of dysfunction and uh, dis- disillusionment and, dis- and, and disallowing of our true nature, our true, innocent, brilliant, beautiful beingness that we are. And so those are the three aspects of this lie that we are working towards healing. And the the third um, way that this may be expressing in your life right now is either harsh or shocking events happening that are helping us. They're actually here to help us wake up and make different choices. So this is the this is the the hardest part of transformation is having a having a trigger come in having a shock come in that kind of like it it takes out all reality that we've been living in and it blows our world up and and then we have to question we have to say what is going on here. And we have the opportunity now, we are really supported now to face these really harsh or shocking experiences with the support of of being able to say, what do I need to see about myself? What lie am I telling about myself that I need to let go of, that I need to stop telling myself and I need to start telling myself the exact opposite of that lie. So this is how we rewire the neural pathways in our brain and our subconscious reality. We allow for the truth to come up into our awareness, however painful or scary or shocking that truth may be. When we get to the fundamental core of the truth, then we have the power to change our reality. We have the power within us to change the way that we're creating because It is a fundamental truth that whatever we're experiencing 
in our outer world, whatever view we are viewing in our outer world is a reflection of what is going on in our internal world. So we have to be willing to change our internal world in order to have our external reality change. And that includes our physical health. If we're holding a fundamental belief that I am not enough, it will eventually manifest in some physical form. And the reason for that is, is it's simply manifesting into physical reality to get our attention to help us wake up. And so I want to reiterate and reinforce that we really need to bring gentleness to our work that is being called of us at this time. Really gentle, gentle, gentle awareness around how intense the work that we are going through <clears throat> that we are working to transmute out of the third dimensional structure, out of the fourth dimensional structure of lack of limitation, of lies, and of believing that we are something other than the divinity of the the great mystery of the the spirit of god goddess that we are gods embodied and so i want to really help us remember that it's time that we're being asked this is the strategy is to answer the call to get quiet and answer the call and and look at the experiences that are happening that are that are that are discomfort that are uncomfortable that are um, that are really making us question like why is this still happening I've done so much work around this one particular part aspect of self this part of my life what is the lie that I'm holding that is keeping me in this loop of experience that I am ready to transcend out of and really allowing for the shocks and the really um, the really harsh experiences that we may be going through to wake us up to answer the call it's a call these are happening for us they're happening for our highest good and when we bring that awareness that knowing Whatever I am experiencing right now, no matter how difficult, challenging, awkward it is, is happening for my highest good and holding the prayer of, please help me see what it is I need to transmute, what lie I'm telling myself that needs to be transmuted and changed into a positive affirmative belief about my fundamental value worthiness and and wholeness my value my worthiness and my wholeness so how that would look is to to recognize we're holding a belief that i'm not enough and transforming that and saying that's a lie that is simply not true. I am enough exactly the way I am. I am enough. I'm more than enough. And then to transmute, I am not worthy into my worthiness is without question. I am not willing to tell myself the lie any longer that I am not worthy of having, doing, or being whatever it is that I desire to experience. And then transmuting the third fundamental lie that I am broken beyond repair and saying that is a lie that I chose to believe about myself and I've been creating out of it forever. And I love everything that I've created because it's helped me explore what that lie was like. And now I'm ready to transform the way I create into knowing that I am whole, that I am complete, and that I am a fractal of God's source. I am 
fundamentally perfect in every way. And I choose to create out of these new beliefs. So I know this is really strong medicine and I want to close this frequency intel with the, the awareness that we are all a beautiful fundamental seed of creation and we are in the great awakening and we are in this accelerated timeline of letting go of untruths and proclaiming the truth of our divinity and then beginning to create from that truth, from the belief that what else is there? What is possible for me to create? And bringing that heart convicted knowing of our fundamental value, worthiness, and wholeness to everything that we create, bringing the state of willingness, bringing the state of, of pleasure, of joy, of happiness, of fulfillment. These frequencies are, are the actual truth of who we are and how we're meant to be creating in this world at this time. So thank you all for joining me for this Frequency Intel. And the strong medicine is here and we're taking it and we are, we are beginning to soar. We are beginning to transform our brains into bliss brains and bringing bliss, bringing gratitude, bringing joy, bringing fulfillment, bringing compassion to everything that we're experiencing and releasing the belief that this is happening to me and there's nothing I can do about it to wow, this is happening for me. It's super uncomfortable. This is super hard. And I know that I'm transmuting the lies that have kept me small and insignificant and afraid. So thank you all for joining me for this Frequency Intel. I wish you the most benevolent and gentle and grace-filled week ahead and I love you infinitely and I will look forward to seeing you next week on the Frequency Intel. Until then, many, many, many soft, gentle, loving blessings and a giant hug to you because you are not alone. We're all going through this and we can support each other in going through this together through the frequency of love and the circle of compassion. So step into that circle of compassion when you feel struggle and connect into this beautiful community that we're creating. Peace.